the United States right now, 10% of Americans that are working wake up in the morning excited to go to work. The next 40% like what they do, enjoy their Monday to Friday, but by Friday they talk about, oh, weekend's coming, I get the weekend at home. The next 40% really dislike what they're doing. Then we have the bottom 10% that literally are depressed about what they do for a living. But my goal is I want people to be in the top 10%. If I can't get them to the top 10, then I want them to be in the top 50%. I want people to enjoy what they do. But the world is changing so fast, technology is changing, career paths are changing, and we really need to take control of our own career. So how do we do this? We have opportunities. We can stay in the career path we're in because we love it. We can stay with the company we're currently with because we really like the company. Or we can make change happen when we're ready to make that change. Or in many cases, we can look forward to a call to HR on Friday afternoon and said that our position has been eliminated I want you to take control of your career and make it whatever you want it to be. An exercise I'm a big believer in that says, what is your ideal job? If I, money wasn't an issue, geography wasn't an issue, kids wasn't an issue, no barriers, no parameters, it's your ideal job. You take your ideal job, and it's a good exercise for all of us to go through, and you write down what are the traits of that ideal job. What makes it ideal? It's in a large city, it pays very well, it's pressure, you meet a lot of people, you work in teams. And then I stop and go, what other career paths have this same traits? If this is ideal, and these are the traits of the ideal job, what other jobs have these traits? So then I start re researching all those paths, and as I research them, I go, oh, what was I thinking? This would be terrible, I wouldn't like that. So I tell people, write in pencil, because you're gonna change your mind. And you hear new ideas, oh, I didn't think about that, I might like that one there, and you write it in and you do some research and it may stick or you may end up erasing that. You start honing it down to where are the jobs in these career paths that I'm looking at, what companies hire these kind of people, and who literally has an opening right now for somebody with this skill set in this career path. Is it easier to get a job when you have a job? Absolutely. Don't question that for a second. I do an example that'll probably be in, th in this week's newspaper about stale bread. You walk into a bakery and there's a fresh loaf that's working somewhere, or there's a stale loaf that hasn't worked in a year, and I'm thinking of hiring the stale one when nobody else has hired them in a year or two. What does somebody else know that I don't know? So if people say, what's with the stale? Is my career stale? Yes, it is. How do I appear unstale? If I'm interviewing you, and you've been out of work three years, and you say, well, what, what have you been doing for three years? It's like a gap on your resume. Don't ever have a gap on your resume. You've gotta show me how you used that three years. Tons of volunteer work. I feel passionately about Boy Scouts, and I'm a finance person. I volunteered in their finance department, and I worked on their um, accounts receivables, and I volunteered 20 hours a week there. Then I went back and got my MBA with my other 10 hours a week, and then I did my job search for 15 hours a week. Wow, you sound like a great person. Because you know the last candidate was out of work two years and I said, what'd you do with your time? 
well, you love this tan? Is this great or what? I've been surfing for two years and playing golf and tennis because there were no jobs out there. So I said, why bother looking? <laughs> Which one am I going to hire? If there's one message, take control of your career, take it where you want it to go, not where somebody else wants it to go, and strive to be in the top 50%, or if any of us can help you get in the top 10%, go for it, and don't give up till you get there.